I can't uh, believe we're going to talk about this, but I mean, next week is the final episode. Can you believe it? Of Broad City. I know. It's got to be bittersweet. How does it feel? Right it now? is. You know, it's like Abby and I thought that this was the right time to end it, but we were wrong. No, we weren't wrong. <laughs> but, but like, and it is. But I guess just like the right time, it's hard. You know, it's heavy. Yeah. It's so. It's so many things. Like. I'm 31. I've been doing this since I'm 21. Like, it's been a third of my life. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, have I ever not been Broad City? <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's just like, it's crazy. No, wow, and it's all, but it's great. I think it's a, yeah. a, a, on to a different chapters right. and stuff right. like But this is, I mean, where did you start this? Uh, on the internet or what? Yeah, we started um, on YouTube. We made 35 webisodes obsessively uh, yeah. over two years. And we were like, it was like our job. I can't even believe we had the gumption to do it so hardcore. We like, you know, we just went OD on the whole thing. And what was the big, what was your big break uh, um, well, from doing that? So we, um, we were planning to uh, pitch it. And we wrote this pilot. Um, that wasn't good and we never did it. We wrote it, you know, a new pilot, but we wrote this pilot and we we're like, this is the best piece of writing anyone <laughs> you know I mean? yeah, yeah. And <laughs> And so, um, so we were planning to go sell it in May, um, no, in, in summer uh, 2011, but we still had our finale to shoot, and we asked Amy Poehler, our um, mutual friend, She's the greatest. And, and she was in the web series finale, and then we asked her to produce the TV show, and she did, and it really obviously like upped, upped the game enormously. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, what you guys did, too. I mean, man, you really upped the game. Uh, was it always called Broad City? Um, yes. You know, it's, it's so wild to be able to go from Broad City the web series to Broad City the TV show. It's so direct. But, um, How'd you come up with the title? We were, uh, we were, I was working at a cosmeceutical company. What is that? I don't know. Wow, that um, sounds cream. great. I cream on your face. Just cream yes. on your eyes and face. I was like the social media manager and Abby was working at a bakery in the West Village. So her shift, she was like pretty much a baker. Um, so no, she just sold pastries. But um, so her shift was earlier than mine and she would like come up to meet me. I was like, whatever, working in Midtown. And we um, sat in the aisle of a Barnes and Noble and went through names. Barnes and Noble like is, doesn't exist anymore. It's just on 14th Street. It's like a, a, a bathroom basically. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't that's know. What it's it is a, now, a bathroom yeah. um, with tons of reading material. and. Um, <laughs> So we sat on the floor of this bookstore and um, we were just like calling them out, calling names out. Just like, it's like embarrassing, you know what I mean? Abby was like, girl town. And I was like, maybe, yeah, maybe, <laughs> you know? <laughs> She's like, like uh, women village, you know? And it was like broad city. And um, I was like, hold up, that's, that's, that's it, one. that's the one. And yeah. Now, yeah, and now she here was like, you are. Oh, and we were like, broad city! I mean, but I mean, what you've done with the show, and uh, I, I can't even believe the guest stars you got on the show <sighs> have been amazing. Uh, Hillary Clinton was on. I know, and you know, like I haven't been able to process it. It happened like two years ago or three years ago. Just now, I'm like, we had Hillary Clinton on the show. Because yeah. I've just been like so on the track, and now I'm like able to actually process what this whole crazy thing has been. And damn, we had... Hillary Clinton was on a Comedy Central show. <laughs> I'm like, did I, she know the show? No, no. Her staffers were like, you got to do it. I was like, do not Google clips before. <laughs> like, You're gonna bail. Dude, You're not gonna yeah, do this. Do yeah. Do not Google. But you've clips. gotten everybody on the show. Seth Rogen, uh, uh, Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, our our heroes. You know, when I when Whoopi was on set, we first of all, she, Whoopi was on set, but she was being Sister Mary Clarence for us. It was crazy, yeah. you know? And you know, just like the whole thing, like when I, like I watched Ghost and Karina Karina and she's on The Lion King and I saw her in, oh, it's a funny thing, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. I was just, she was my hero and I remember we were talking and I was like totally like playing it cool and then I was like, I'll be right back and I ran off and I was just crying. I was just like weeping in a corner. <laughs> I, I was like Whoopi Goldberg, yeah, you know? the one and only. Just freaking she, out. I can't uh, believe it. RuPaul, Shania Twain. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Shania Twain was great. I love that. Do you and, ever, yeah, do you ever uh, go back and, and watch the episodes, or will you? Or? I will when I get some distance from it, because just for so long, it's been like, we've been in it. You know, I would watch like before we would write, so yeah. I'd be like, what's the show? You know, and where are we going? But I haven't, space, yeah, yeah, but once it airs, I'm kind of like, it is my past. But now I think I'll, I, I'm excited to like reflect, reflect on it. I honestly, I'm like, it's my favorite show. Okay, and um, I can't wait to binge watch this show. It was, it was made for me. 
you know. It really is. I'm like, it's, it is made for it's you. the it's best show. I love it. It's my uh, favorite. <laughs> and uh, what was the last episode like to write? It's because you and Abby uh, yeah. Jacobson wrote it together, right? <laughs> yeah. So Abby Jacobson, my queen, my work wife, my partner, and um, also um, Paul W. Downs and Lucia Agnello, our writers, actors, directors. Um, we wrote like the outline together, but Abby and I took this script. And when we were <laughs> writing it, we were sitting like across the table from each other. I've never had an experience like this. We were writing, and one of us would be like, <laughs> and then we'd be like, <laughs> and then we'd be like, ha ha ha. It was so emotional roller coaster. It was like, so dude, we're weird. laughing and crying at the same time. It's and a it's, new emotion. It's exactly like what the whole thing feels like. Like this, if like, can you laugh and cry at the same time? And that's like what it feels like. It's it's really, it's heavy. It's a trip. I'm tripping. Uh, you uh, you've had so many great uh, writers go, that started on your show and gone on to do That's great right. things. I just want to say just thank you as a, just from the community, from everyone who watched. Oh my you've done so much for comedy Ugh. and for people in Kinda, and I just, <laughs> really great what you did. That Amazing. so generous. Thank you. I remember seeing it, uh, I, I think I guess I saw it on Comedy Central, I heard about it or something, or maybe Quest told me about it or something, but I've never seen anything like it before and I was like, oh, this is going to change the game. This is pretty awesome. Quest was an early convert. Yeah. I, I, I was like, I mean, that was another moment. We like heard from Quest Love. Quest Love loves it. What <laughs> are you talking about? I know. He hasn't told me that he liked any of my work. <laughs> We've been doing this for 10 years. It yeah. Was, it was just crazy. I mean, I, you know, I just grew up with the roots and I was just like, Questlove is watching yeah. Broad City? We're idiots. Uh, you know, it's just, it's wild. What do you I, want people to take away from, from the show, if anything? Abby and I have been thinking about this a lot lately, and um, I think it's like, you know, what TV can provide is like the feeling of, you go home and you want to just feel like comforted. You know, we want to make people feel safe and comfortable and included and like, like they're part of the process. And also, um, you know, if you don't have an Abby or Alana yet, the show can be that until you find them. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here are oh Alana God. Glazer and Abby Jacobson in the series finale <laughs> of Broad City. <laughs> Take a look at this. We thought we were on some classic Abby and Alana New York City journey today. We thought it was for the bacon, egg, and cheese. Yeah. When in fact, this was our mission all along. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but. So, so what is exactly the new mission now? This toilet. We're going to bring it back to my house. Are you sure? Abby, this is a wo'unchi. It's an intelligent toilet with a UV light that breaks down the germs of fecal matter in the bowl. It has a heated seat and warm water that sprays up your ass after you take a dump, just like a bidet. God, every time you are sprayed, you are reborn. OK, Alana, this is someone else's. This is gross. Just <laughs> Alana Glazer, everybody! Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.